Yo, uh, what up, sons? Come on, gather around, man. Let's talk about two tokens today. How about that? And you're going to get a little nasty. What I mean by that is expect the unexpected because I have decided that I will, since I'm going to talk about two tokens, Akash and Fetch, AI related. I hold one, Akash, because I mentioned in the previous one, I just bought it. And I really pumped. Wow, it actually doubled. Interesting. But keeping that aside, a caution fetch. And simply going to check on the chart because it's fun. And second, hold on. First, this is a chart, right? And second, I'm going to just show you something. Well, get on the Twitter page, fetch and Akash, and see some of the trends, basically what people are talking about. Okay. Literally, a lot of you'll see a lot of people pumping, a lot of fake airdrops like this. You're going to ignore those. I told you. Just, we have to, uh, to see, uh, well, logically with the, with the twist of all kind of thing, okay? You have to be just careful what do you pick up, basically. So, without wasting time, let's actually, first, let's talk about Akash, all right? Check this out. Let's see. I'm not going to discuss the tokenomics, all-time high, low, whatsoever. But just to look at it, okay? I wish, I wish, because I can't go back in time. I wish. I literally have bought at 20 cents or so. Yeah, I can't go back like all the way to 5, 10 cents, but I wish I could, which is not that crazy. If you look at it, it was literally sitting at 26, 25 cents in May, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, six months ago, right? That was kind of bottomish. I'm not too sure if it's ever going to be there. I, mean, I can never say ever or never in crypto, but yeah, it's, it's kind of hard because when people buy in, nobody wants to just sell at a loss. If somebody bought in at this level, 160 cents, somebody's buying. The dude is not going to sell unless the price goes up to some, some level. I mean, if it drops down, then the dude is going to hold back, right? I don't know the plan, the game plan of the dude, but assuming. So right now, I mentioned in the previous video that literally when it was here, around 90 cents, that's when I got in. Uh, just bought a decent bag. I wanted to get more, but I was like, okay, let's just get some. Wanted to diversify in the Cosmos because I use the Osmosis decks I mentioned, and I'll have a separate video on Osmosis. There's so many topics. I'm coming to it. I'm picking up momentum. And once that happens, I'll have uh, videos on a regular basis, short forms, long form, whatever, to the point, right? So over here, simply nine multiplied by two is 9.18. So $1.80 is going to give me a 2x. Not bad. But if I really have bought it at 20 cents, think about that, 20 cents to 160. That's a several x's, man. Fair enough. $1,000, you turn into 7,000. Fair enough right? This is what we're supposed to do. Stack 7,000 here. I mean, you know, like multiply here, multiply there, and then take all the pool, get something decent, like a whatever a company, a cash flow company or real estate, whatever your game plan is. So that's Akash. That's Akash, right? Then I fetch. I mentioned fetch. Didn't talk about fetch at all in this channel, but I thought I'll just throw fetch with Akash because both are AI. And when you look at it, fetch.ai. And unfortunately, I just did a video on my other channel about AI. The biggest change in AI is happening right now. Ironically, I don't know what's wrong with this whole thing, the dynamics, that whatever I pick, it has to crash. What I mean by that is, I love crypto, right? And then you see the regulation. I'm being a US citizen. US this, that, and this, and drama, all the shenanigans, scam, blah, 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 right? Then I said, man, AI, I have another chance. I mean, crypto is not going to give me that significant whatever because of all the legal issues and all that stuff, right? I have to sacrifice. Probably you have to move to Dubai and all that, which is not happening right now. But I'm just saying, that's separate. But then came AI. And I was like, man, I'm going to do, you know, make it. I'm not talking about the stocks and stuff. Just using AI the, to accelerate my services, business, whatever, offer, make myself better, basically. Move fast. That's the plan. But then this comes. The whole dynamic changes. Sam Altman gets fired. And... First Sam Backman, now Sam Altman. Sam Altman. Altcoin. What is happening? And literally, why I'm saying, telling you this, because if you look at it, Worldcoin? Where's Worldcoin? Worldcoin is not doing bad right now. Literally, it's pumping right now. <laughs> it literally dumped. As soon as Sam got fired, whatsoever, this got it dumped. And then it picked up. Because people thought, hey, you know what? Now Sam probably can focus on Worldcoin because he's fired. <laughs> Assumptions. We humans are, we are fascinating, right? I know. So that's Worldcoin. But regardless, Akash out. And why mention Fetch? Hold on. I lost, lost Fetch. It's right here. Fetch is an interesting one. Um, I remember I actually had Fetch. It, it was, man, Fetch, I had Fetch way a long time back. It was in micros at one point. And then it's, it's mooned in the last bull to a pretty decent extent. 
And right now it's sitting at, wow, not bad at all. So look at this, all right? On this day, October 18th, it was at 20 cents. So, <laughs> and when Bitcoin, everything dropped, this was a level, pretty much. If you go check back, obviously last year, December, pretty much everything when Bitcoin dipped over here, look at this, November, right? Bitcoin went all the way to like 15, 16 thousand. Everything. Pfft, that was the best time, actually. That was the best time. And uh, I'm not going to tell you when is the next best time. You do the whole thing if you pay attention. All right. So over here, if you look, we are sitting at, man. So fetch went all the way, then came down 20 cents and then started picking up. Just again, AI narrative. And Fetch has something going on. I remember, I probably even did a research on the founder a long time back. But of course, then we discovered Ponzi and so many things that happened in crypto. So now I'm, I'm not going to just take any word for it just because the founder is even available. And first of all, I don't think anybody will fall into any anonymous projects, right? Any gaming projects, so-called so BS, because they're all so-called rock poles, slow rock poles, scam, grift. So always do your research, regardless if they have a face. First of all, if they don't have a face, you stay away. Stay like away, not six feet far. Stay like one million uh, miles far away, all right? That's number one. And when they have a face, you do 10 times research. Is this a real face? Is this an AI face? Like, hey, am I talking to you or is it AI voice? Are you a AI team? Yeah, just make sure. All right, so we have the fetch here. And if I look at it, fetch, all-time high was around $1.10. So if I look at it, I'm like, man, eh, I'm not going to get a significant gain. I'm just saying. Even if I look at all-time high, some people say, yeah, who cares, man? It's going to beat all-time high. Sure, let it be. If it does, it does. It doesn't. But gain-wise, if I picked up at $0.05, cents, look, at, look at this one. It was $0.05. Cents. It was sitting here. Just December, last year, when Bitcoin dropped, this was $0.07, cents, $0.05. Cents. $0.05 cents to $0.50, cents, that's a 10x right there. That was the best time. But now I'm like, okay, if I buy right now, if it goes to a dollar, I'm making, I'm doubling my money. Fair enough. But I'm just saying it has probably more chances than a lot of other tokens, which are probably rug pulls, which are um, could be slow rugs or tokenomics and craziness. Okay. This, along with the AI narrative, along with the team, might be decent enough. They're working on stuff, might be decent enough. All right. That's it. So, yeah, um, I have Akash and I have the fetch. Now, last but not the least, let's actually see some of the tweets. Then I'm going to end this, right? So usually what I do, type the fetch thing, just check on the top and the latest. Latest is like any latest tweet that's just being tweeted out right now. That could be all the scams and bot stuff. And the top will give you all the ones that has a lot of engagement. Look at the views and engagement, which again, could be manipulated using bots and stuff. So that's why you have to be careful what you pick. I'm not going to... See, look at this. Non-stop, ad drop, ad drop. Rubbish, garbage, right? B3 bullish. I just like to see sentiments to some extent. Even if they're trying to manipulate, I like to see it, the behind the scenes. Like, okay, what are they trying to do? Who, how are they trying to do? Who is trying to shill? What kind of people trying to shill? Is, is there an army behind? If there's a cult, like Hex, Pulse, they have cult. And I probably have a video on Hex. There's some controversial stuff going on. If there's a cult, Telcoin, VRA, there's a cult, right? Like, NFT and Metaverse is striving only because they go up and you know to a level. It's just because there's a cult. It has no use case, no stuff stuff that people are you know bringing up there. Like I, as of now, the games that's half baked. Literally, there's nothing in there. <laughs> I don't know how people fall for it. When I was in high school, I was playing decent games. Like I started playing games when I was seven, eight, eight years old. So you know, like I know how games work and how they came to be. When I see people. All these high schoolers right now, Gen Zs, fall for this garbage. I'm like, I'm question. I thought you guys are supposed to be very better in terms of thought process. Like, you get satisfied with this bar scrap. Really? Okay. I mean, wow, it's so easy to, like, please, please. I don't even have to please. Just, like, mold a bunch of crap and just throw it at them and they'll just give me $1,000. Oh, wow. It's so easy to make money from them, you know. Anyways, <laughs> mini bonk. Hit one million market cap already. What? Okay, buzz. I'm not going to check on this. Latest. Oh, you know what? Let's not waste time. Fetch. Build deploy. My ties. 146k followers. Not bad. All right. Recently, we announced this is October 1st, uh, 5th, 20 hours. Last week, recap Cosmos. It's been an exciting week filled with significant needs and updated. Fetch AI reduced. Asian verse. So many verses, man. Can I just live in this universe and leave all the verses? 
to other people. Like you guys can go wherever, whatever, whatever verses you want to be, man. How about multiverse? Go to multiverses. Introduce agent verse. The latest evolution of the agent verse. I can't read any more verses. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Why is he holding his face like this? How now AI knows how to replicate people, human beings. What? Hey camera, stop mimicking me, man. How does Fetch AI aim to democratize AI? How does Fetch AI aim to take over AI? That should be the word. Yeah, best thing ever. Aims to decentralize AI model training. Yep. This makes sense. AI model training. I'm going to dig deeper into this later on, okay? AI model training. And yeah, if it's very decent, 50 cents can go to $10. If it, I'm just, Hey, don't take my word for it, okay? I'm just saying. And it's not the price, but I'm just saying. If it's really decent, because AI is there. It's not going to just go off. And they will be underdogs. So, okay, not bad. Torchain, man, six bucks. November 19, they're active on Twitter. Let's explore the future with AI agents. Not bad. Actually, you know what? I'm going to check on this because anything with AI agents, bots, stuff fascinates me. I like to dig deeper. I like to play with it. I like to, yeah, play with the codes and stuff. So I'll, I'll dig deeper. It looks cool. November 19, but I don't, I don't fall for any of these narratives basic stuff like i you know territory nfts i mean come on man i did that for fun everything i every time i do stuff i like to experiment and all that stuff but i'm really realistic simple as that i know that i'm buying an nft i know what kind of was the purpose but a lot of people just they have this agenda so of, of course they try to push it to me hey man why you you know it's good tell this to your audience it's good i'm like yeah it's good but it's not that fascinating what are you why are you pushing me why don't you just create a channel and tell them then <laughs> oh because you have a bag you want me to push your bag? No, no, no. Sorry, man. Let me first push myself. I mean, I'm technically homeless, so you go, you push yourself first. You push your, you know, your, yeah. Anyways, that's there. Akash, I don't think I'm going to check Akash, but let's actually finish it off with it. Because I mentioned Akash quite a few times, right? Sovereign infrastructure that scales an open and peer, peer to peer marketplace. So cloud storage, I understand totally. I has, you know, both of them, there's use cases. AI agent stuff, like the fetch, um, autonomous, yeah. Fitch was working on autonomous, and back then I remember two years back when they were talking about um, BMW integration, quite a bunch of stuff. If I'm not wrong, I have to go back and you know fact check and all stuff. But yeah, AI agents and all that stuff, right? And then you have this cloud storage, GPU problem solve uh, solution. Yeah, it makes sense to me. The only difference is how long are you gonna keep up with it? Are you gonna really keep pushing? Because this dude, the one behind this, Akash, so far is good. This uh, Greg. Last night, a car successfully upgraded to mainnet 8. Oh, that's the pump. This upgrade brings a set of important quality of life features of the network that will easier to upgrade GPU deployments. Not bad. Akash has been officially nominated for Crypto Project of the Year. I see. <laughs> yeah, Greg, thanks for the car shout out. Okay, fair enough. All right, cool. And now, yeah, please, in the comments, tell me. I'm sure a lot of you. Yeah, Akash is going to go to $10. Yeah, sure. Please tell me. Tell me. Just chill, chill, chill. You are welcome. Please chill. Hey, I'm, I'm being honest. Just don't put links because then it gets blocked by YouTube and YouTube doesn't promote my channel. So I do want comments. I encourage comments. You can chill. Just don't chill in a very, you know, shilly way. Shilly way. Yeah. Don't make it less shilly. If that's a word. Make it less shilly and uh, get your points across, all right? So Akash and Fetch, that's all I have for you. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.